Buenos dias! In that last video, I touched upon the type of reflector you use can as much as double the amount of light coming out of your light. In the case of the Westcott 400, we saw that it almost quadrupled the amount of light. So this makes a big difference what type you get. Now most 300s, 400s, and 600s come with this kind of reflector nowadays. The first thing I would do is get rid of this thing because it is garbage. This thing lowers the amount of light. This is actually bad for your light. They chose size over light output because they can put it in a smaller box and save money and fit more in a shipping container or something. But this is this is just worthless as a reflector. The first thing I would do, like here's a 300. Get rid of this thing and get like an ADR 14. Anything that's in the shape of a bowl or a dish. Stick that on there and you've immediately increased the light output from your light. Or you could even do better than that and get like an RFT 23 and stick that on there. It's got facets. This is even brighter. So that makes so much difference. Anything that's a shape of a bowl or a dish, this is what you want to put on your light. Not those new designs that they come out with. The new 600 Pro, same thing. Get rid of that stupid reflector and get one of the old style reflectors. These things, not only are they put out more light, but they're much more lightweight. This is just aluminum. It weighs nothing. So let's take the, the 600 for example. The standard light coming out of this reflector with this flash, let's say it's 16. You put a diffuser on there, it goes one tenth of a stop down, so it's 11.9. All right, so now let's, there's another reflector here that's a little bit longer. And the longer the reflector, it focuses the beam a little bit more and you get a little bit more output. This maybe is like 16.1 or two. It's really not that much different. It's still got the pebbled interior. Now the pebbled interior is good. I use it a lot. It makes a, a softer light, but if you want more light output, like just harder, more intense light, then you want to go for something like this. This is what you want, something that's polished on the inside with a faceted interior. This is more softer light with the pebbled interior, and this is more intense light. This is stronger light because of the polished facets. Now this one here, this is a Godox RFT-19, cost $19, 19 cost 19. Uh, it goes from 16 to 16.4. You've almost got a half a stop more light just from going from this to this, the facets. Uh, if you put a diffuser on this, that's where it gets a little bit different. Now it goes down to 16.1, so you lose more light with the diffuser with a faceted interior than if you were to use a pebbled interior. If you're gonna use diffused, diffuser, and I always use diffusers, that's why I still use these things because you get more out of the diffuser with a pebbled interior than you do with a faceted. Now that's just a general rule, not when we get to the last one here. All right, then you've got another step up from there. I don't, this is another brand that has a faceted interior this one is even more. This one, uh, this is 16, this is 16.6, this is 16.4, this is 16.6. So we've gone over half a stop more light. And if you put the diffuser on this one, you got 16.4. So now you've got more light coming out of this one that has a diffuser on it than this one that's raw light. So that's pretty good. But it gets really interesting when you get to this one here. This is my left photo and you'll notice it's curved. These two, which have the facets, most of the faceted ones, for some reason, have a straight edge. It's a straight line running this way. And this one, though, has facets and it's curved, like the original one here. So this kind of fascinated me. I kind of thought, hmm, I like the shape of the curved. I, have, I had a feeling that it would somehow work better with light if it was still curved, but had the facets. So. Guess what this one measured at? If this is 16, this one is 16.8. Now we're approaching a full stop. As you know, one stop is double the amount of light. So you're getting almost double the amount of light from this one as you are from this one by having facets in there. And it's rounded. Now this one is straight and faceted and it's not as bright as the rounded one. So this one is something, something to consider. Now if you put the diffuser on this one, this is where it gets good also. With the diffuser, this one is 16.4. So you've still got more light coming out of this with the diffuser than this one that's raw. So this is the best all around one that you could stick on an AD 600. If it's a Bones mount, even an LED light, even just a, a video light, this is great. I mean, it's the same principle. Um, Oh, and if you use a, uh, a grid, 
with this, a 10 degree grid, because I like to use grids. This is like a spotlight. It's a portable spotlight without having to use snoots or barn doors or anything. With the left photo reflector, you get the same output of light as if you were using the full wide open original reflector. And that's pretty good because usually grids take the light down quite a bit. So this is the best all around. I'll put the link down below for this one. And just for fun, <laughs> I was messing around with this. Oh boy. Um, you know how those little tiny LED lights, I was playing around with those for a while and I had the uh, Amaran 60D came with this. This is actually Bones Mount, which I thought was really clever. It's a tiny little reflector, but it has the, uh, the three pins that are the same distance apart as they, they cover the same area as a Bones Mount three pins. So this actually fits in a Bones Mount. And if you shave down the pins a little bit, because they're a little bit thick, but they will fit into a standard Bones Mount. And it, <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to save space, look at the size difference between the original reflector, or let's say you want to use one of the newer faceted ones. Look at the difference between that and that. What a difference in size. So if you're traveling, uh, so you say, yeah, but what's, what's the light output of this, right? You'd be surprised. This thing, if this is, a, if this is a 16, this is only 11.9. It's only one-tenth of a stop less light than this. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> you, have to, you just have to shave down the pins a little bit so it fits in there, but it will fit. It's a bones mount. Pretty fun, huh? So yeah. Anyway, so the one to get is the Left Photo 7-inch reflector. Um, it's $24 and it's, it's almost a stop brighter than the original reflector. And if you have any, anything else that's bones mount, it's the same. This is the best one to get over these new fangled uh, um, straight edged, um, straight line faceted ones, this one here. It's not even as polished as some, as some of these ones. This is actually more a matted uh, facet and it's still brighter than the highly polished ones. So I wonder what the light output would be if this was actually polished even more. Um, but because it's not polished, you probably get kind of a little bit of a soft light also still. So this is the best of all worlds. It's a little bit taller than the original one. Well, quite a bit taller. It's about inch and a half taller. But, uh, you know, if you want as much light output as possible from your light, there you go. And I, and I always take with me, whenever I travel, I, almost always have this on there. This only takes the light down one tenth of a stop. I mean, it's barely even noticeable and you get a softer light from it. So I always use that whenever I take portrait pictures. Um, and the, uh, the grid, the 10 degree grid, it's like having a spotlight on somebody's face or something. If you just want to spot one area, this is the best, cheapest, most portable, lightweight way to get a beam of light when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you just stick it in your seven inch reflector and you're good to go. They have these also with the four and a half inch reflectors that come with uh, the smaller lights. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, on Tuesday, I have something coming out that you will not want to miss. I've been working on this for over half a year, almost a year. Uh, and you won't want to miss it. It's something that is just so fascinating. You're going to want to watch it. It is, it is so cool. It's the latest technology that is, if you film yourself, you've got to watch this. This is something that is so fascinating. It's coming out on Tuesday. I can't even wait till next weekend to show you. Uh, it's, it's that, it's that uh, exciting. All right. So don't miss what's coming out on Tuesday. I will see you then. Until then, adios.